Why the hell is it doing that? I've got, <laughs> got so many. Right, contraband weapons because the game's thinking that I'm dying, but I'm not. So I just need to just get the kills with the grenade on top. Right, let's just have an old game. Get try and get some stuff and what. Terminus outcome forces are active in your AO. Watch your sixes. Come home safe. <laughs> Found a pistol here. Not a pistol. Right. Uh... Contract marked.
Don't start doing this again, computer. I need... I need a certain element on a weapon and it doesn't give me. What was that? What blew up on me? You know what, let's pack a punch the good old grenade on, shall we? Contract marked. Strike team, you're approaching a terminus stronghold. Recommend you prep for engagement or move to avoid. No key, no entry. Check their smaller <laughs> encampments. One of those idiots must have left a key card lying around. Getting a sample of that. 
that target's blood would really put the V in HVT. <laughs> Am I right? Why does it sound like... It's only coming from the, the right here. Oh, oh. Looks like you got your pound of flesh and then some. It just rage quit. That is the easiest thing I've done in my life. Well done. I'm pretty sure Fasha, does that mean? Fasha. Don't sound like that, uh, that sound like the British chick. Grenade here. I need, I need an assault rifle. Got a contract here. You know what? And in this case, I'll have an assault rifle. Intel suggests there's a mother load of terminus weapons in your AO. I want them added to our stockpile. We'll hunker down to hold that cash. Ready up for a gunfight. Kill him again.
driver, the less trouble they'll cause. Who dares wins? Time to collect your winnings. This is an assault rifle, is it? It sure is. It's an assault rifle. I can't accept it, it's not working. Yes, I literally about what about 10 20 minutes ago I got the the lap the, the that crush that yeah I got that rocket done so which is a good thing now I'm on I've just got the 200 kills 250 kills with the grenade launcher and now I've just I've just randomly just remembered this uh, the challenge the daily challenge is to uh, I need to get 100 kills with an assault rifle and pack a punch weapon. So obviously doing that with with this I just find it and then getting the pack a punch kills with the grenade launcher. Yeah, from yesterday. Um, mate. For some reason, it, it wasn't the, the one for the rocket launcher. It just it wouldn't. It just wasn't unlocking. But this time around, she got the kills by using the rocket. I didn't get any melee kills. And I took off. The mastery camera from Mon Wolf. I just put on. What? Oh, yeah. It loves giving me. It loves giving me rocket launchers and. I think he's done it. But yeah, I just need to do the thing, you know.
do. Um, but yeah, I'm just just casually playing through again. I'm just casually just playing, and then. I'm just going to casually play and then. Why do you reload the mag? It's empty, and why not when the bullets left so you can skip the extra reload? Well, that's the thing. Since Modern Warfare 3, I mean, since Modern Warfare 2, on Modern Warfare games, you can't reload cancel. Watch. Reload, sprint. Okay, tell a lie. No, sorry, it's when. It's when. Plus, it don't help that I've got fire of hand on. Say when you're reloading, look. Reload. It still does the animation, look. Because before. It didn't use to. It didn't cancel the animation to reload. It doesn't help that I've got sleight of hand on. But yeah, you can't thingy anymore. Because even another stupid thing, it's same again. Another flaw is the fact that you can't reload while sprinting with sleight of hand. As that was an actual feature of the perk as well. You could actually reload while sprinting, but you can't. On this, they've not made it so you can. It doesn't. Well, it doesn't do it. But yeah, there's like, look, because it does that. Look, it does like uh, you can't like reload cancel. So even if I do that, look, it actually does it. It's like you've got to fully wait for it to finish. But yeah, it doesn't help. It just doesn't help that I've got slight of hand on. It's like with sleight of hand, it doesn't really matter. Which is a shit thing, to be fair. It is a little bit of a shit thing that they've not... Um... It's a pack. There's a pack of it. There's a pack there. Um... Which is a shit thing, because I did, I do prefer to like, because I'm used to reload cancelling by sprinting, especially when I'm in a corner. Because they've even made it so you can't say when you... You're doing it with a gun, you can't double tap, because even look, it changes the animation. Get up the fucking wall. It doesn't help that. Let's flop. But since I've got sleight of hand, it doesn't really do it. But yeah, you can't. You can't really reload cancel anymore by sprinting or changing your weapon. See? It does an extra animation at the end. It's just to stop people from doing the reload cancel thing, but on zombies it's just a bit It's just a bit silly why they've done that. When he says full armor, it sounds like nickel. Well, unfortunately, it's not Nikolai. Unless, unless, because it, it sounds like the Forsaken. It still sounds like the Forsaken. But the only thing I was like when we were saying the other day, the only thing I just don't understand is that 
he got trapped inside the uh, Sophia at the end of thingy on the last map. Don't remember the map. But... So it's like he's always. He's still alive, but. It's like I don't even know if uh... yeah. Oh dear. Fuck off. Tier three? What the fuck's a tier three doing over? The live strike team. I want you out in the field, getting your hands dirty. I refuse to let anyone sit on their asses and wait for Dr. Jansen to save us. Well, at least he's getting a lot. Of dead because I, I actually need to get I need to turn zombies and then let the brain rock zombie kill stuff but yeah what the hell is a tier 3 zombie doing all the way over here I need to pack I need to pack but I don't even know if I don't even know if even the voice actor for Nikolai actually did the voice for the facility. But I can definitely tell you, like... I can definitely tell you that the thingy... Magdalene, Marlo, Magdalene, whatever. Arnie. He's definitely voiced by Nikolai. Right? Because when he does the grunt, when he's... Well, when he does, like, the, uh, the, the scream, that sounds like Nikolai. Tier 3 doing a stroll. Mini. Like I said, tier 3 is over here. It's kind of funny as well when you run over zombies in your car. It absolutely canes the car's health. That's even the thing though. There's no possible way of... Yeah, there could be, because of the fact when the whole purpose of them to end the cycle was those four, the, the original crew had to die. The original four had to die, and that's the reason why Richtofen was doing the things that he was doing because he was trying to prevent it because he knew it was going to happen. That's why we went. To, that's why we went to go and get the blood vials. That's why we did all sorts because of the blood vials. Since we've got, since they had, um. Sal Finn, I forgot his, I forgot the name. The prisoners from Mob is because that was Purgatory, and obviously, as you know, Purgatory, you're just in an endless cycle, which like pretty much what Zombies is. And then obviously, contract Mob. Rick Coffin knew that they always ended and then died. 
And that's the reason why he planned it all out to figure out. That's why I wanted Panorium to see how he could end it without killing them. But then, that's when it, he's been through multiple billions of fucking tries to try and stop it, but he couldn't stop it. And then that's when he says, right, Nikla needs to do it because he's the one with his soul. And he is the one that can do it because he knows he's not. Plus, he even did it the good way anyway. He did it just by poisoning them. That's it. So that's the only thing he did. And then Samantha shoots him. And that Samantha is the one that is from Cold War. And Eddie. Eddie is the dude at the end of the trailer. Well, the clutch scene, I should say. Sorry. But since this takes place a couple of years, wait, well, it's way fucking it's loads of years actually. Really. Mate, why the hell did my turn zombie just disappear? Because yeah, like I was saying. It could be a possibility that they are alive, or, but, but well, in a way, it's not really because, unless if they do, if they secretly do bring them back, but it's I'm only going off. It's when you're doing on Tag the Totem. When you're doing the Easter egg on Tag the Totem. And then when you're around the campfire, and then obviously Nikolai says to them, if you wasn't here, like basically if you wasn't doing this life, what would you want to be? And then that's when they say, oh, I want to do this, I wanted to do this. Like Dempsey wanted to be a, a drill sergeant and whatnot. Do personally, personally, I don't think they're alive. The only people that are alive is Samantha and Eddie. They're the only two alive. Oh, I should say Samantha's in the dark evening. Again. She is trapped in the dark evening. Again. Eddie is your boss. That's if he still is anyway. The Mercs are moving arms near you in a lone vehicle. Commandeer it. It was part of, well, it was made to be part of Group 935. Since this was all, I still say it to this day, I still say it to this, to this day, what it was, Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 Zombies, it was based to me. It was based on Hitler, guaranteed. They based it off Hitler. Miller to Officer Green. Uh, our automated perimeter turrets just went offline. I've got the 
Yeah, it was 100%. They based it off him. Richtofen's German. What do the zombie's eyes turn into when he can't, when he comes in control? The eyes turn blue. In some, of, even some of the German soldiers, the German soldiers that you see, the, the zombies, they were blonde. And I'm pretty sure uh, Hitler wanted like blonde, blue-eyed soldiers and whatnot back in World War II. So it's like they, they, they got all the ideas from him. That's how they, that's how they planned it all. Like that. Requesting close air, target marked. Copy that, Phoenix 2 3 is on station. Strike in mark. Reloading. Back, no choice. Contract marked. Push the Aether, the Aether. It was it, it was the voice in his head. It was telling him stuff. Because the Richtofen, the original, original Richtofen, he knew about all this from day one, mate. As soon as he touched the ether, for when he got teleported. When he got teleported from Moon. No, from Moon, funny. He got teleported to Moon. He touched the Aether, the Aether, and then that's when he started hearing voices. It's like, who was the person talking to? You are about to meet one of Hugo's most wanted. Give him a nice deadbolt welcome, will you? I don't even think he's still alive. The transit crew, they're still alive. No, oh, well, as if they are still alive. Since they got transported to this world, the Dark Ether. Attack the totem, they don't die, they get transported to the dark ether. Because the only thing 
that we've got connections off is the radio. There's a radio. Well, it's not a radio. It's the phone. It's the red phone on the classified. And it's even the, the, the thing on um, on Blood of the Dead. Uh, I don't even know if people know how to, to actually trigger it yet. It's when you, your plane is ripped off it and then you, uh, you're on the roof. And sometimes, it, like I said, I don't, I don't know if people have figured out how to trigger it. Stoolinger starts talking to Richtofen. So it's like, if we don't see, to be fair, if we don't see the transit crew within this game, this like the cycle of this game, since it's a carry on from Cold War, I'll be very surprised. Yeah, that's the only reason why I could talk to Riktoff. The reason why I could talk to Riktoff is because when he ate the meat, the because he ate a zombie, the zombie, the zombie's full of element 115. So as soon as he ate that zombie, it connected to him to the ether. Right for the picking. That's all it did. <gasps> Shit. Black Ops 2. You basically choose you chose a side. Because even at one point we generally thought that Richtofen's ending on Black Ops 2 was the kind of ending, but it wasn't. Cannon ending was the cannon ending was uh, Noxus's ending. Because we figured that out because of. I think it was because of that. Unless if. It was because of the classified. Because of the classified radio. If we're... The original crew get teleported from Moon from when we finished Moon. And then they get transported in the, into the, I should say, hut or whatever, the army hut or whatever. And then they come through the teleporter. Richtofen's dead. Well, he's still alive, but he's just got no nothing to him because obviously he's got no soul. And then that's when there's a radio that. A zombie, because he says a zombified German soldier 
come through, touched the body, and ripped off him, and then ripped off and got up. And he started, basically, he, he woke up. So obviously that had to be the actual, unless if I'm wrong. And then that's obviously, that's the reason that's why we knew it was, it was actually Maxis's ending that was an ending. Since he turned, well, he removed, he removed Richtofen from the ether, and then he put it into a zombie. Zombies, can you just fuck off for a sec, please? Jesus Christ. Unless you want to be melted where you stand by acid rains, I recommend you find an exfil point. Damn. I'm literally only it's, it's me and another dude that's in the Armed boat marked. Cancel last. Armored boat marked. But the, 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 that's another thing I didn't really like. Well. I should say it didn't really make sense is when yeah we beat black ops 3 revelations you beat it you win the war whatever blah blah blah, blah. You kill the shadow man blah, blah 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 and then it just resets itself again since that's since obviously that's why Dr. Monty was so pleased because obviously of course he's going to be pleased because he's still in power. He's basically God. And then it resets itself but then when we played Black Ops 4 when we played Blood of the Dead that's within the broken timeline. They go to that point, they go to Blood of the Dead, as soon as you beat um, Zetsubu no Shima, as soon as you beat that man, they go through a teleporter, they go to Blood, Blood of the Dead, to get the blood vials from that Rift Offen, and then they come back. But it obviously just happens within an instant. But then, within Blood, since it's within the broken timeline that's the reason why everything's different because even Rick Toffin says when he literally you come through the wall on, you, you see, you see it on the cutscene you come through the wall where the poster is and then he says to himself he says that we should be closer to the lab But obviously the lab wasn't there because they're within a broken timeline and that's the main thing i didn't click by i'm thinking that's that's what's making me confused because it's the broken timeline it's different now everything's different But I know, yeah, because of the whole, because they had the summoning key, they can go to anywhere. Well, the summoning key in the, it, well, well, it was mainly the summoning key. They could go to any timeline, any, they could go anywhere they wanted. But that's the one thing I just didn't understand is the fact it was the broken timeline. It wasn't the original time.
Why is the Kenorium still a thing? So the, obviously, them walking around, someone could find the Canorium. Because it gives it away because of the title that you get. There's a title when you, it's when you beat the thingy. I forgot the name of the map. It's the one when you, when you find out that she got manipulated and she, and she turns into that crystal chick or whatever. She turns into the crystal chick, and then when you beat the man, when you beat the Easter egg on that man, the title that you get, she's reading the Canorium. So obviously that's how she knew about everything, because she found the Canorium. So the Canorium's still a thing. I would have thought that would have been long gone because of the summoning key. But obviously, no, the 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 Canorium's still a thing. And I still think, I still think the four crew from that we've, because you even see him on the picture, the doctor, that's the Dr. Strauss. Is it Dr. Strauss? That is his name from Cold War. The dude that helps you. Same way I patch man, the British chick, and then the sergeant. I still don't think they're dead. Because obviously within the trailer, when you see him around that table, I don't think they're dead. All right, I've got a feeling they transferred their souls to the dark ether. That's what I personally think. I don't reckon the dead do just transferred their souls into the dark ether to help Samantha. And even to be fair, this blood chick that we found, I forgot her name. She knows all about the crystals. She knows they like down to the Ma Michael mule of it and whatnot. And I'm like, yeah, you're for Samantha. That's fucking. That's why you know everything the fucking about. It. You're fucking Samantha, you just hide me. How many kills on my own? <laughs> so I killed five. Because this is why it would be nice if I could tell what, like, how many kills I'm on. Well, 
Why nine? Eleven. Whoa! Thirteen. Seventeen, eighteen. Contract, Mark. Twenty. Twenty one. How do you talk and think? You got blow or what? They do. They seven. Forty three. Six point nine fifty fifty. One, 
three, four, six, seven, sixty-nine. Six Ninety six, ninety seven, I hit twice. Eight and nine hundred just kills. Oh, I'm going to be ballsy. I'm going to get two. Since if those fire the, the, the impact of bullets didn't count, just in case. See if it unlocked. And it did. Very nice. 